See, you want to ban guns because you're constantly brainwashed by the mainstream media about the amount of mass shootings there are every year in America. That number is inflated. They say there's 300 mass shootings every single year in America. What's funny about that is, in more than half the cases, not a single person died. In fact, all it means to be a mass shooting, according to leftists, is that there's more than three people injured. So that could be uh, self-defense, dude. That could be a cop defending himself from bad guys. That could be a law-abiding citizen protecting himself from uh, intruders invading his home. That could be anything. See, these aren't real numbers. These are just inflated. They, 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 mass shooting is a very vague term on purpose. So the left-wingers could just morph it to mean whatever they want it to mean. See, liberals love the fact that there's no real legal definition of mass shooting. So they could just morph it to mean whatever they want it to mean. And they'll set the bar super fucking low so it can mean anything. So everything's considered a mass shooting. So they can inflate the numbers and, and show you this big number and be like, wow, look at that. We really got to ban guns, even though none of those numbers are even close to mass shootings at all. I mean, none of those things are really mass shootings. Now, this is just an example. They didn't do this, but this is just an example. They might say that Boogie, when he shot up into the air that one time when somebody invaded this property, uh, that uh, that might be considered a school shooting because it was near and it ran through the street of a school. So liberals would consider that a school shooting. That's the shit that they do. That's the type of shit they do. I'm not saying they did it with that specific example, but they've done it before. I just fi find it kind of funny. They said there's 300 mass shootings a year in America, but a lot of those are good guys and uh, cops stopping bad guys. So they want to stop both of those things. I mean, they, they, they don't want good guys to stop bad guys, and they don't want cops to stop bad guys. They're trying to get rid of cops. They're trying to defund the police. And on top of that, they're trying to get rid of law-abiding citizens being able to defend themselves. It's like it's like they want complete chaos. A lot of people say there's 300,000 violent crimes with firearms every single year in America. No, that's not violent crimes. That's just like ATF violations too. Like, for example, having a uh, short-barreled rifle when you're not supposed to. Or having a, uh, a rifle with a short barrel, but it doesn't got the uh, brace on it. It's got a stock on it. That's illegal. That would be considered, you know, one of those laws being broken. It's not violent crime. It, it, anyways, even w even if there was 300,000 violent crimes, which there is, and there's just 300 crimes with guns, there is 1 million to 3 million violent crimes prevented with firearms every year in America that dwarfs any violent crime that occurs with firearms. Guns save more lives than they take away. That's clear. So the gun debate's over. I just defeated it. But what's next? Now they're trying to ban uh, assault rifles. And assault rifles are already illegal. Assault rifles are fully automatic guns. Those are already illegal. But uh, <laughs> they want to ban semi-automatic guns that look like fully automatic guns. Which is fucking stupid. Guys, I don't know why you think banning firearms or restricting firearms or getting harsher background checks is going to solve anything. Because... The honest truth is criminals get their guns from the black market. They're not going to get a gun in their name and commit crime with it. They're not going to do it. They're going to get a gun from the black market where it's not attached to anything and they could do crime with it. That's what they're going to do. So stricter background checks uh, and banning guns isn't going to help. This is going to help anything. It's just going to take away rights from law abiding citizens to defend themselves. So basically you're going to be saying that, Criminals should be able to have AK-47s and AR-15s and assault weapons, but good guys can't. How are we supposed to defend ourselves from these criminals when they have AK-47s and AR-15s if we can't even have them ourselves? That is fucking ridiculous. Leftists be like, let's take guns from good guys and give them to bad guys. Stupid idea. Let me get this straight. We go to war to protect our freedoms. Just so liberals could destroy them at home. These liberals are more damaging to our freedoms than actual terrorists. I'm done. I can't make this video. I'm losing faith in humanity.